patterns, and relations. Suppose that we have two number patterns that start from zero. The first pattern follows the rule add four. And the second pattern follows the rule add eight. For each pattern, we will draw a table with three columns. To write current element, the expression representing the rule, and the result of applying the rule, which is the next element. The first pattern starts with zero, so we write zero in the first column, and its rule says add four. This means we add four to the current element. So we write zero plus four in the second column. The value of the expression goes into the next column. So we write four over there. Now we take four from the results column and make it the current element. And we apply the rule again. Four plus four is eight. Now eight becomes the current element and we apply the rule. Eight plus four is twelve. This is the table after we applied the rule several times. The first column shows the number pattern. All right, let's move to the second pattern. The rule here is add eight. Just like before, we start with zero and add eight. Zero plus eight is eight, which goes into the results column. And eight becomes the current element. Eight plus eight is sixteen. Then sixteen plus eight is twenty-four, and so on. The first column shows the pattern generated by the rule add eight. Let's take a closer look at the two number patterns. We know the relation between every two consecutive numbers in each pattern, which is add four in the first pattern and add eight in the second one. But is there a relation between the two patterns? A relationship can be found by looking at every two elements that lie in the same position from each pattern as a pair. These are called corresponding elements. For example, these two elements are corresponding elements. The first element in both patterns is the same. So, we move to the second pair of corresponding elements. One is four, the other is eight. How are four and eight related? We know that eight is four more than four, but also eight is two times greater than four. Let us check the other elements to see if they also have a similar relation. We have eight and sixteen. It is clear that sixteen is eight more than eight, which eliminates our first guess that adding four is the relation between the corresponding elements. But notice that sixteen is two times greater than eight. This is the same relation as in the previous pair, where eight is two times greater than four. Notice that for the next pair, the times two relation also works. 
we have 12 and 24. 24 is 2 times greater than 12. And 32 is also 2 times greater than 16. And if we had more corresponding elements from both patterns, they will have the same relation. The number in the bottom will be 2 times greater than the number on top. Now we can make a conclusion. We say that the elements in the second pattern are two times greater than the elements in the first pattern. In other words, for each pair of corresponding elements, the second element, or the bottom element, is equal to two multiplied by the first or top element. In this lesson, you learned how to generate two number patterns and determine the relationship between their elements.